The Cotard syndrome, or delusion, is a specific nihilistic delusion named after Jules Cotard, a French neurologist who first described the condition, which he called the negation delirium, in 1880. The affected person generally holds the delusional belief that he or she is already dead, does not exist, is putrefying, or has lost his or her blood or organs. People with Cotard syndrome generally believe that they have either died or been mutilated in some improbable manner. The Cotard delusion is most common among schizophrenics and people who have suffered severe head trauma. There have been multiple case studies done on individuals and patients who have supposedly suffered from this delusion. For instance, in 1788, perhaps the first ever recorded instance of the Cotard solution was reported by Charles Bonnet. An elderly woman was preparing a meal when she felt a draught and then became paralyzed on one side of her body. When feeling, movement and the ability to speak came back to her, she told her daughters to dress her in a shroud and place her in a coffin. For days she continued to demand that her daughters, friends and maid treat her like she was dead. They finally gave in, putting her in a shroud and laying her out so they could mourn her. Even at the wake, the lady continued to fuss with her shroud and complain about its colour. When she finally fell asleep, her family undressed her and put her to bed. After this instance, she was successfully treated with a powder of precious stones and opium, in which her delusions went away, only to return every few months. Around 100 years after Charles Bonnet reported the old lady, the French neurologist Jules Cotard saw a patient with an unusual complaint. Mademoiselle X, as Cotard called her in his notes, claimed to have no brain, no nerves, no chest, no stomach, and no intestines. Despite this predicament she found herself in, she also believed that she was eternal and would live forever. Since she considered herself immortal and didn't have any intestines nor stomach, she didn't see a need to eat and soon died of starvation. Cotard's description of the woman's condition spread widely and was very influential and the disorder was eventually named after him. There are also some more recent instances of the Cotard's delusion being reported. For instance, Greek psychiatrists received a patient in 2003 who believed he was literally empty-headed. He had attempted suicide years earlier because he thought life wasn't worth living as he didn't have a brain. He was not treated after the incident and simply returned to work. Once at the hospital, he claimed that he was born without a mind, meaning that his head is empty without a brain, and for this reason he is retarded. He left against medical advice after several days and was readmitted the next year, in which he received some treatment and showed sustained improvement in the follow-up interviews which were conducted some months later. In 2008, a 53-year-old Filipino woman named Mrs. L was admitted to the psychiatric unit when her family called 911 because the patient was complaining that she was dead, smelled like rotting flesh, and wanted to be taken to a morgue so that she could be with other dead people. Upon interview in the hospital, the patient expressed fear that the paramedics were trying to burn down the house where she was living with her cousin and her brother. In 2009, Belgian psychiatrists reported the case of an 88-year-old man who came to their hospital with symptoms of depression. The man explained that he was dead and was concerned and anxious that no one had buried him yet. His delusions also subsided with treatment. The same Belgian psychiatrist also treated a 46-year-old woman who claimed to have not eaten nor gone to the bathroom in months nor slept in years. She explained that all her organs had rotted that she had no blood and that the doctors who monitored her heart or took her blood pressure were deceiving her because her heart did not beat. After multiple admissions to the hospital due to lapses in her taking her medication over the next 10 months, her condition finally improved. Most of the recent cases of the Cotard delusion have been resolved either with pharmacotherapy and previous reports of patients with Cotard syndrome have indicated that electroconvulsive therapy has advantages in the resolution of the patient's symptoms where pharmacotherapy has failed. 
So even if you do believe that you are dead, have no organs, that your blood has been drained, or that you have no brain, there is still treatment for your condition. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If it was interesting, give it a like. If you liked it a lot, subscribe to the channel.